The faster you chase profits, the faster they're going to run away. Hi, I'm Simon Rosse and welcome to the Rosse Bespoke YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be answering a question that I frequently get asked. And that's how do you run a business in the luxury sector? The first thing I'm going to say is don't think about the luxury sector as having any different requirements than any other sector. It's all about the people. Think people first, people second, and then last of all, think people. I'll tell you a story and then I'll explain how it relates. I went into a coffee shop a few years ago and all I wanted was a cup of coffee and a slice of cake. It was probably about 11.30, quarter to 12, something like that. And I said, is it okay if I just sit down, have a coffee and a cake? Seems like a reasonable request in a coffee shop. They said, no, that's not okay, because we're keeping the tables open for people who want to eat a full lunch. I checked the sign again to make sure I wasn't uh, mistaken. It did quite clearly say cafe, not restaurant. So at this point, I said, okay, well, thank you, but I'll take my business elsewhere. Now, what they were doing was chasing short-term profit. They knew they'd make more money from someone who came in and ate a full lunch than they would for someone who came in for a piece of cake and a cup of coffee. Of course, this is actually a very foolish way of thinking. You see, maybe I would have spent less money that day than someone coming in for a nice big lunch, but quite frankly, obviously, I didn't want lunch. And I probably would have actually left quite soon, so I'm sure they'd have managed to fit a seat turn within the lunchtime service period. But that's not even the point. The point is that that particular coffee shop is quite local to me. And what did I do when I left the coffee shop that day? I walked down the street to the next coffee shop. I went into the next coffee shop and I said, excuse me, is it okay if I just sit down for a coffee and a piece of cake? They looked at me in surprise and said, well, of course that's okay. Why on earth wouldn't it be? I sat down, I had a lovely coffee, a lovely piece of cake. And I've been going back to that coffee shop on a very regular basis for the last few years. I've probably put thousands of pounds into that coffee shop. That's money that the other coffee shop didn't get because of that one thing they did. I have no intention of going back to that other coffee shop because I know that they don't care about me getting a cup of coffee and a slice of cake. All they care about is making money. And that is the really simple thing that is true of looking after luxury or high net worth or whatever you want to call them, clients. If they think that all you're trying to do is make money at their expense, they're never going to use you again. If they get the feeling that you're putting your prices up specifically for them because you know they can afford it, then they will run a mile and never return. If, however, they feel there's a reason why you're expensive, if you're offering a service that is superior and you're showing them that you care about them, then that's a totally different story. So keep your prices honest. Keep your prices fair. Keep your service great. And that is how you will get on in the luxury sector. That's all from me. Just a quick one today. Look forward to joining you in the next one. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.